I lost mine back then. Oh. Over there. So I don't want to lose another screw. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my video and this time it's about my Nissan Leaf and now uh, I'm going to show you how to um, how to dismantle or take off the head unit because I'm going to remove the FM pen expander if you watch my previous video uh, it's all about upgrading the, uh, the Nissan Leaf uh, firmware now we don't need uh, that FM pen expander anymore so uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take off the head unit as well as taking off the FM band expander. Oh, before we go ahead, by the way, uh, I'm going to tell you what are the required tools. So, firstly, you need a uh, Phillips head um, screwdrivers, and then you will need also clothes. Um, I'll explain you in a bit what's the clothes for. Right, so uh, we go here, by the way, uh, on the head unit itself. If you Give a little bit yank on the top. <sighs> yeah, just like that. Just like this. And then, so we take it off. <coughs> and then on the, on the bottom as well, by the way, on here. Yep, that part and here. <sighs> yep, just like that. And then here, obviously there is a button here, right? So I'm expecting like a packet cable here. If you, oh, by the way, have a look at the hook here on the left side, by the way. You can see like there is a hook there. Uh, careful, we don't want to uh, damage that hook as well. Yep, okay, so that hook, must you must lift, you must give a little bit lift over there. So just give a slight little bit lift and then yep you can just take it off and now um, now it has been free okay if you go here have a look at this um, have a look at this little connector over here you will need to unplug this connector first so it's very easy um, okay now we have unplugged this um, hazard cable now we can take this frame off okay we can take this frame off like this no worries just like that so this is why we need that cloth because we need to lie it down like this so it's not um, scratching or anything like that um, now if you have a look here if we have a look here on the head unit itself there are four screw there are four screws one two three four right now we need to undo that those screws by the way be careful about this screw yeah because this screw is not magnetic it's not magnetic and i lost mine actually oh. over there I lost one of them. So I don't want to lose another screw. <laughs> yeah. Oh, done. Got it. Put it here. And then do the second one. Uh, you don't need to worry if the audio unit falling off or anything like that. So this hook keeps the head unit secure, so don't need to worry. It won't fall off or anything. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Careful. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. right, the reason being that you need to be careful with this screw is if you have a look at here, I'll show you here. So if the if the screw fall here, it's really hard to find it, guys. It's, <laughs> it'll be like rolling deep down inside there. That's the problem. And yeah, again, 
these screws are not magnetic I mean I'm using a magnetic screw but this screw I think it's made of aluminum or something like that so you gotta be really careful okay yep got it here the screw is like this and I think it's made of aluminum it's not magnetic right so as you can see there you know that's the hook so basically just need take that like that both so left and right the screw is just three yeah just three because I lost that one okay now if we have a look at the back here this is the FM then expander that's the FM bed expander here all we need to do just uh, get the actual cable here which is from the antenna yep this is from the antenna so we're going to take it off from here yeah. the blue and the blue and black take it off okay so this is the FM expander yep first I don't want to lose this cable so I'm going I'm now going to attach the cable here into the unit so the antenna will be directly attached to the unit itself just like that perfect it's easy PC and everything should be self-explanatory this one I think is the GPS this one is the GPS right I'm just making sure that all cable are attached properly just because I have the unit open like this exposed so it's easy for me to make sure that everything is attached okay now we're going to reattach the unit back to the to its position all we need to do is just to get the unit attached back to the hook and yep just like that as I said previously it's safe because it won't fall off or anything yep because there is that hook that holds the unit now let's get the screws back okay now let's attach the screws back one screws attached mm -hmm. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to attach the my last screw, guys. <laughs> okay. Now we've made sure that all the screws are attached. Put the frame back on. So when so when we attach this make sure that you reattach this cable as well guys otherwise you won't have hazard i mean the hazard button will not function so you go here if you look at this you just attach it here here just like that and And now, have a look at the hook on the left and right here. So make sure as we advance, the hook is also attached, just like that. Now let's secure it. Push and push at the bottom here. Done, just like that. So now let's test it Whew.
Okay, I'm greeted by a Japanese lady. Okay, we can turn off that Japanese lady here. Make sure it's off. And should be alright. So next time, when we turn the device off and on, she won't create us again. And then another thing that you want to make sure if you don't want to be greeted by a Japanese lady randomly, like Konnichiwa, something like that, go to settings and then navigation. And then scroll down a bit and you will see guidance voice settings if you tap here make sure that all of them are off so I'm turning it I'm turning them off now so by turning them off uh, we will not be greeted by a Japanese lady occasionally when we start our car so now let's do a scan so we go to FM menu region now we have all the region properly like this thanks to EV's enhanced it's very well and uh, very well done and tidy look at this like we have Wellington, Palm North, Hawks Bay, Topo, Rotorua, Tauranga, Hamilton, Auckland, Whangarei I'm selecting Auckland as we live in Auckland or we can do auto as well that means if we travel from Auckland to Wellington it will pick up by itself can it actually wow this is Auckland frequencies that's more like it I love it so I'm just doing the auto scan now ninety one FM that's set M Yay! Okay, that's at that's set M over there. So I, what I do is I go back, press and hold, and I just save the set M here, just like that. Easy peasy, guys. And we can go. Uh, Right, so that's new. So that's new. Previously, we were able to save more than six. Like I can tap here. Like I can tap here, but now I can't. So that's one of the uh, missing feature. That we. That's one of the lost feature. But it's okay. I love it because it's all comes in original. Um. Okay. Okay, so this is the FM band expander guys, so it looks like this um, and as we can see here, so this is from the antenna, this connector is used, used for, from the antenna and this one connects to the head unit, so basically from the antenna goes here and this little guy over here, it actually expands like this like translate the frequency something like that so our head unit even though it's from Japan like from 80 megahertz and below and something like that it will I mean our head unit can still listen to our radio local here but now as we upgrade the firmware on our head unit we no longer required to use this one and now we can see the actual frequency yay okay from the last video you can see this is also updated during the firmware upgrade I mean previously it was showing a Japanese language here but now it's in English which is perfect well done if it's enhanced All right um, I think we covered everything guys uh, we covered about taking off the frame taking off the head unit and taking off the FM band expander uh, now we have put back the head unit back on as well as the frame and we now have scanned all the FM radio station it's all working perfectly awesome and yep if you like this video don't forget to hit like share and subscribe button 
and when you subscribe make sure that you hit the bell button so that's when we upload a new video you guys can get a notification from us thanks for watching guys god bless you all kakite ano bye bye